fresh out of our shop and ready to go to your garage um, is this beautiful 1975 Buick Regal. Um, just kind of a neat car. Uh, 75, nothing real super sporty, uh, but just a neat old uh, low mileage car. Yes, 67,000 actual mile car, guys, with the original interior, uh, the dark red interior, a beautiful re one repaint done on this car, and a very solid original car at that. You'll have to let us know on uh, what you think of our choice of tires. This car came in with some uh, bigger aftermarket rims, which if a guy wants those, they're, they're available as well. Uh, but we went ahead and put some American Racing Chrome Torque Thrust rims, the polished, beautiful chrome on it, uh, brand new Cooper Race White Letter tires, and just made this car ready to, to go into your garage, like Dalton said. This 350 engine runs excellent. It's got cold air conditioning, power steering, power disc brakes in the front, and is basically 100% bone stock under the hood. This is really what I like, guys. As we go ahead and go through these inner fenders, um, the paint and stuff on the inner fender is excellent, just as nice as the rest of the car. The bottom uh, hood paint is all done in a matte black. It's a really clean car, but as far as you look under the hood, it just basically all bone stock. Still has the original sticker on there. This is kind of a, a cool uh, deal, only in the mid-70s would they have something like this. This is kind of a neat shroud, um, kind of really stands out with the fluid level and stuff right on the edge of the shroud. The old drill just screams 70s with the big bumpers and yeah, it's a cool car. Pretty neat. One of my buddies had a car just pretty much like this when I was about 16 years old and uh, he always uh, chose to go around corners way too damn fast and uh, took us right into the damn ditch with it. So that was the end of the Regal. <laughs> I think it lasted about three and a half months and uh, that rear wheel drive Regal ended up in the ditch. So I think that's what happened to a lot of these cars. I mean, that or figure eight cars back in the day and you know what, they're just really of great value now. Yeah, they are. People love them, people remember that was their first car and they're hard to find. There's just not many out there. No, exactly. Like you said, it's about the memories that, you know, that come with it. Yeah, 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 I'll never forget that. Might have had my first cigarette in that Regal. Oh I think it, Yeah, I think it was. Non-smoker now, guys, but uh, that started uh, 10 years of smoking, I think. Yeah. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> Thanks, Buick. Yeah. All right, so as we go to the front of this thing, the grill and front bumper is all original. The lines are excellent. Um, as far as the top of the fender to the top of the hood, lines up perfectly. All the way across the front edge of this car just lines up awesome. I mean, nice and flush. The stainless, the chrome is great. What a great car. You can just tell the guy just took it apart, painted it, and other than that, everything else is pretty much bone stock. Yeah, even down to the bumpers, uh, you can tell these are the original bumpers. There's some minor pitting and little micro scratches. Um, kind of what you'd expect. But how many times is this original rubber still in here, all intact? Little scrape here. Perfectly straight body too. Awesome finish. Those wheels really set it off. Original grill. Um, you can tell there's just a little bit of um, what do I want to put? I call it like a little solvent popping in that on that chrome. But there's no pieces busted out anywhere in that grill. It's in great shape. There is one little crack right here, guys, down here in the bottom grill. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, uh, check the trunk pictures out. It's 100% rust free, all spackled beautifully in there. Um, also, the undercarriage is in great shape as well. Disc brakes on the front. We chose to go with just a little bit of smaller tire, kind of the, uh, the factory kind of size on this. We want 215, 65, 15s on the front. 245, 60, 15s on the 245. Rear. Okay, 60, 15s on the rear. So um, they are the 15 inch wheels. We didn't go too big and, and too fat on it. We wanted to keep that stock 1975 look. Um, top of the hood to the top of the door lines up beautifully. Again, really nice gap all the way to top to bottom. No bubbles or blisters anywhere in the door or the uh, lower fender that I can see. Um, the bottom stainless is in really good shape and the dog leg here between the door and the quarter is excellent. All the way over the wheel well, 
paint's excellent and uh, behind the rear wheel as well. Nice dual exhaust on it. The vinyl top, uh, don't know if it's original or not guys, I have no idea if they redid that when they painted the car, but there's no bubbles or blisters. How about your side D, anything down here? There's no sign of rust ever on this vinyl top. It's all nice and clean. The back window, the back chrome is in excellent condition. The only thing I really don't know, um, it seems to me like there should have been a little piece of chrome or something around here, but again, I'm not positive. I haven't had enough of them to talk about it. But it looks to me like it really finished it off That's if there was a little, sides. yeah, if there was a little chrome there. Um, the rubber here is in fantastic shape. Again, our, our door gap is nice. Our door handle is good. Jeez, how about the jams? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that either. Well, were you expecting all the interior lights to work and the original interior to look like that? No, look at that. 67,000 actual miles. Beautiful job on the paint on the jams. You can tell the doors were taken off, properly hung back on there. Same thing here, all the, there's a lot of chrome on this and look how the design this to have that come right on the inside with a little screw there from the factory. The scuff plates are excellent, carpet's in great shape. Our corner of the doors, rust free on that corner there. Just really, really nice. Right. Yeah. So inside the door jam is awesome here. The passenger side door panel and the driver side door panel are 100% original. The passenger is pretty much absolutely mint. The only thing I can see here is just the glue, just a little bit on this corner needs to be glued a little better. But really, I mean, absolutely mint. As far as our windows go, windows go up and down nice. These rubbers very well could be the original, and they're very nice and pliable still. Same thing with the window felts, they're perfect, aren't they? They're not dry rotted or nothing. Um, our dash pad has no cracks in it. It's got the factory speaker holes um, on the passenger side and the middle, antennas in the windshield, rear view mirrors nice and tight. The steering wheel is excellent. There's not one crack anywhere in the pad or steering wheel. The paint on the steering column is excellent shape as well. Starts up beautifully. Air conditioning works. Heater works. Original AM FM stereo works perfect. It does have cruise control. We might check and see if that works. I doubt it, it never usually does. A uh, gas gauge works and it's got 67,552, um, believed to be actual miles, guys. If you sit in this original interior, you know it's the original. Uh, dome light works here in the back. Headliner is in awesome shape, guys, except for it does have one hole right here and right under this uh, visor here. Driver side passenger visor is excellent. It's got the, the old, uh, Aftermarket. Uh, oh, you can do your makeup in there. Oh yeah, that's always important. Um, so both uh, both of the uh, back lights work, and the back seat is absolutely flawless. There's a little bit. You can tell there's just a little bit of wear. Nothing ripped. Nothing like that. But just a little bit of wear on the original back seat and a little fade. Yeah, that's that's freaking nice, man. Yeah, it is. It's got GM seat belts for three. The back door panels are excellent. The wood grain on there is great. And then the other thing, a lot of times on these, uh, I really notice it like 75 to 80 Trans Ams, a lot of the plastic on the back here usually gets all chalky and just really brittle. Um, this is an excellent condition all the way around. So this car's really had a lot of time just sitting, obviously. As we go um, at the back of the car, the paint and body is super straight on it. The door lines up nice. It's got nice uh, chrome dual, or nice exhaust tips here. No chrome tips, but just really nice uh, exhaust. It looks relatively new. Neat taillights on it too. Yeah, they're really cool. Did a nice job painting up in here. You can just tell this is just, just a clean, low mileage car. There's another thing. This doesn't stick way out. Trunk lid fits really nice. Get a little, little ding or something. What do you got, D? I'm a little outward ding, yeah. size of pencil. <laughs> That's really tiny, yeah. It's a little mark right there. Other than that, are you seeing anything else? Not really, 
the between the here's another thing on these uh, 70s cars between the back window and this back here they didn't go ahead we talk about this all the time they didn't go ahead and fill those in so there's no cracks on those and they're just how they should be from the factory it's funny it's got a huge hood but pretty small truck yeah it does really neat car um, as we go around this uh, driver's side again really nice and straight and clean the wheel well chrome is beautiful the stainless uh, rocker moldings in great shape as well really nice gap from top to bottom same thing here on the hood it lines up beautifully to the top of the door um, top of the door the top of the fender is perfect I don't think you're gonna get this car gapped any better than this I mean that's what I love about low mileage cars mm -hmm. yeah they haven't been you know hit or panels taken off or mismatch mismatch panels put on real straight yeah definitely the original door rubbers guys passenger side was so excellent you could hardly tell but here you can tell this one has a crack through it but still pliable and just I always look at a car's door jams and the corners of the doors that just always tells me a lot about the quality and the care of the car Pull that key out a little bit, that buzzer's annoying. Um, as we look how this quarter panel lines up right here on the inner door jam, that's all been painted beautifully as well. Scuff plate. Um, the scuff plates have been replaced for sure. I mean, there's just no way that chrome could be quite that nice. Um, these little things work really well here, and they swivel around like they should. So I complained about the Camaro design. Mm -hmm. This is a good design. Yeah. You see how this kind of swivel is supposed to swivel here? Mm -hmm. The Camaro one that goes on the side of the seat, it's just, it's just junk. As soon as you pull the seat up, it, it breaks. Right. Same with the Trans Ams, but this was a dang good design on that. It shows just a little bit of wear here in the driver's side seat. The passenger, I didn't see any. Um, you can see a little fade also on the center. You know, it's a little darker the right there. Yeah. But the only thing really you see is just a hairline crack in the vinyl. It's not all the way through. And just a little uh, crack through here on this cord. Is that leather or vinyl? I can never tell the difference. But. I don't know. I, it feels like leather to me. I really think it's a leather interior, but I'm not an expert on that either. All right, let's get behind the wheel and see how this thing drives. I really like it. It does bring back some memories, man. But there's, we had five of us in here, I'm sure, at all times. Oh, I mean, dude, it'd be fun. It's comfy. Full of teenage boys, just. Do you have a stereo system in it? I don't even know. We just were talking. It probably had the radio. Probably was the original radio back in the day. I mean, it was kind of one of those, kind of a low mileage car like this. It's just really a shame Danny trashed it. I mean, it was a cool <laughs> car. Really cool car. Kick down works on the transmission. Um, again, the motor has been, uh, as far as I know, it's the original motor, guys. I haven't run the numbers, but I have no doubt that it is. Um, the motor has been rebuilt as well, so it really runs good. Even though it's got 67,000 miles, you know, a lot of times, even though from sitting around for 40, 50 years, you know, you're going to have some ring problems. So exactly. this one's all been, you know, new bearings and everything's been done to it. Exactly. So. And that kind of goes for everything on an old car. You know, you might have a car with 20,000 miles. You know, people wonder why the motor needs to be built or whatever. Yeah. When they sit, that's the worst thing that you know. is brakes and brake lining and hoses, tires, mm -hmm. freaking tires. I mean, they look good, but next thing you know, we, you know, you really got to check them. And we, we've been learning that too. The last couple of cars we sent out had, you know, just had a little bit of a older tire, and you don't know until you check dates on them. Yeah. Because most people don't drive these classic cars over a thousand, thousand miles a year. Exactly. So the tires might still have tons of tread. Yeah. Hey, this thing drives nice though. Oh my gosh. Um, the kick down works perfect on it. I mean, we're doing 70 mile an hour right now and it feels like 40. Yeah, I mean, I'd take this thing on a road trip. I mean, no wind noise. It drives like mom's Cadillac. It really yeah, it does. does. It does. So those like cars where you, you think you're drive like the new 40, Cadillac. 50 mile an hour and you're doing 70. Yeah. This, but if you want to punch it down, too. that transmission still kicks down here. Look at the steering wheel. I mean, perfectly straight, guys. Just a good car a really good car i'm very impressed with this car to be honest i am kind of too i didn't you know it's funny how when we do the videos we really get to know a lot more about the car you know even though we might have drove them before and looked at them before i hit the washer button all that's why the wipers are kind of going crazy on me i really hit it a couple times so see if they punt it the washer square is going to work too there we go that original radio. 
Valentine from KTLO News. Yeah, we're in two. Dog, you're going to fly by squeaking the bush before the... And AM works too. AM and FM. AM and FM both work. Came off the bed. This on thing's ready to go on a trip. It is, man. This thing's ready to go to Cali. Huh? Yeah, I think Look so. Look at the brakes. Absolutely perfect. No pull left or right. And this car really turned out nice. It went yeah, through a shop. It took a little time. We got the right wheels on it. Um, and you know what? The gas gauge works. Every single thing works except for the cruise control. We'll check the lighter. You know here. It, it took a couple months just going through and getting everything ready to go. It just for, does. I mean, and then we had to wait for wheels. and That works. I can see it. Yeah, I don't want to get too hot. I've touched those stupid, stupid things before. I think we did pretty good on this one. Just yeah, ready to go. A very nice car. Inside the glove box, guys. A couple little plastic pieces here, and it's got the original owner's manual as well. So, all right, very cool. I don't know what else to say. If you want to take her on a road trip, you got to buy her. Uh, give us a call, Coyote Classics, uh, number 641 816 3145.